Stacy. Welcome to Stacy's Kitchen. And I'm decanting all my vinegars. I have vinegars that <laughs> I make. I make vinegars all the time. And sometimes I just forget about them. After I get them going, I just sit them on there. And I have a couple that are like a year old that I need to deal with. And then a few that are about six months old now. So um, I only have one vinegar that's meant for, um, I only have one vinegar that's meant for consumption. Most of these are cleaning vinegars. So I have an orange, like lemon one in here. Yeah, it smells like cleaner too. So here's a cleaning one we're gonna decant. And see, it's been sitting, I don't know if you can see, I have to move it further back here. So it's been sitting for a while, and this is just sediment layers. And so evaporation occurs as it sits there. And you don't bottle it, so it's a few months old, but um, once it's vinegar, it's vinegar, it's not doing nothing. It's done, it's perfect, it just evaporates if you don't uh, decant it and put it in a jar. So we're going to decant the orange vinegar I have here and put it in this and then I have a uh, actually we're going to decant it in here because this has more sediment in it and we're going to strain it so let's strain it just put my strainer on this and we're going to put like a cheesecloth we'll use a cloth that was um, on it to cover and then we're going to just pour it and let it strain and take some time see all the stuff inside these are all the pills and stuff it gets like you know a lot of um, uh, yeast at the bottom and all the good beneficial bacteria on the bottom but I don't want that in my vinegar so that's when it starts getting a little cloudy here so we're gonna set that aside so I'll just strain let this set a little bit and strain the rest later so we're gonna set this aside because this is the one that needs to be strained that's just how you strain it you just let it sit there and do its thing as long as it's not sitting in the water. Yep, it's not sitting in there. All right, so the next one we're gonna look at is I did a lemon one. And this lemon one smells really good. And I might use it for like, um, it smells better than the orange one. Because the orange one, I put grapefruit in it too. I did orange and grapefruit. And all it is is water and sugar, orange pills or any fruits and you set it on the counter for a few months and it turns to vinegar. It goes through the alcohol process, so, but because you're letting air get to it, it turns to vinegar. So, um, if you wanna make alcohol, you just don't let the air to it and then you get alcohol. And you can use natural yeast to make alcohol. Um, that's what I do. When I, on the occasions I do it, I'll have to do a video on that. But um, a lot of people buy yeast to add to it, to start it up, to make their alcohol. Now you get more of a consistent product when you do it that way, but I don't mind. I like to see what turns out, and because I'm always fermenting. See, fermentation comes from the air. You have all these wild beasties you're collecting. It's like wrangling invisible yeast from the air, and it goes into your your jars and the more you ferment the more wild beasties you have uh, floating around so my product is always consistent um, because I ferment so much it's just in the air around here so um, it's just a, it really is just collecting so you have your fruits have the yeast on it but then you have what you need to start a fermentation in the air and so it goes into your water and then it reacts and it starts a fermentation. It's more scientific than that, but you get the gist of it. 
you can buy a book on that. Um, anyways, let's get this one going here, and we're just going to use a simple strainer on this one. I like the smell of this lemon. I have a little metal strainy thingy that goes in my, my uh, thingy here. Just, everything's called a thingy. <laughs> I'm gonna forget stuff. And this also has been sitting on the counter for at least eight months now. So yeah, I have you have just different lines of sediment as it's been evaporating. But it looks really good inside. It smells really good. And we're gonna decant this. I'm gonna put a little uh, paper towel inside. We'll do a little like napkin. There's not going to be much sediment. Just do like, you can just, you can find my cheesecloth. I have cheesecloth, but you can't find it. But this should pass through the napkin just fine. It's an, so we'll put it in here. While I do that, I'm going to find my cheesecloth. That's right here. I thought I couldn't find it. I'll let this one go through. I'd rather use a cheesecloth than napkin, but you can do that. It's just more delicate. Napkin's rip. It smells like a lemon uh, candy. You know those lemon drop candies that you buy in the store and you eat? That's what it smells like. It smells really good. Those candy lemon drops. That's what it, it, it smells just like that. And this was just been fermenting and sitting on the counter for eight months. It's, I mean, it was what it's one. Of, it only takes like a month to actually ferment or two to finish its fermentation. But I just let it sit until I'm ready to decant it. All right. So there's the cheesecloth, and let's go ahead. Yeah, that it goes through a lot easier with cheesecloth. And strain this. See, and I'll feed these this stuff to the chickens. They like it. Let's get back to this one while this is doing its thing, and kind of squeeze it through a little. And this is a cleaning one, so. That one I think I might use, I don't know, I can use it as food or hair, anything medicinal. It smells really good and it, it, I'm going to taste it afterwards and see how it tastes. Maybe add it to salad dressings, make a vinaigrette, alright, so this one's about done. Let's get a little bowl to put grab this bowl right here. I'm going to put um, the pulp and stuff in this bowl I have. A plastic bowl to give to the chickens. Alright, so put it back in here. See? Put that out. Let's finish the vinegar lemon up. There's the lemon. Now I can wash this jar, have that. I'm gonna do pickled eggs again. And I need bigger jars, because I wanna do refrigerator ones. I have plenty in the cabinets. Now I want to just do the ones in the fridge. All right, I don't wanna to squeeze too much, because I don't want the, so much of the milkiness in it. So that's good. So, Whatever's left, we're gonna just squeeze that milky part in a bowl right here. So I don't want to put it in the jar because I want it to be clear. But this I'll use to clean with. There, see, I just clean, use it to clean. Wipe my counters down when I'm done. Okay, so this is going to the chickens. It's just fermented lemon. That's all. Fermented lemon. Pulp and stuff. That was just skins and lemons. 
from my aunt's lemon tree before she moved. I was able to grab some, and then some from mine. I have a lemon tree too. But it wasn't as good as hers. <laughs> and then these are the oranges from my aunt's lemon tree. And grapefruit. They moved, so now I'm gonna have to find, grow my own. My, I, my plants just aren't mature enough yet. So, so that's done. Put on this one, and this one's, oh, well, this one's actually not for cleaning. It's for both. You can clean with it or use it for food because it's, it uh, smells really nice and it tastes good. And then last one, I have two. This one, I don't think there's much. This was full. This was full all the way to the top. All on the top. This is, I had it sitting on my counter for more than a year and it's just evaporated. It's very concentrated. It was raisin vinegar. <laughs> I don't know if it's even worth. It smells really, really good and strong. Or put it in a little jar, maybe make a vinaigrette out of it. Let's taste it. I can't believe it was. I got so distracted with life, you know. But it was that. It was full. And then over over a year's time, it's been on the counter for a long, long time. It's only that full now. Let's clean this and see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Put it right here. See what comes out of here. I'm gonna do the napkin because my cheesecloth. I need to wash real fast. And the napkin will collect more of the sediment. It's gonna slowly drip, so let's let it slowly drip. And I can wash that one. It smells really good, it smells like raisin. And this one, this was a pomegranate vinegar. So let's put it in this, this, I like to use really nice looking jars from like alcohol bottles. I think they're cool looking. So I buy my alcohol that I use based on the jar so for my vinegars. All right, let's do cheesecloth I washed that we used with the lemon. Put it over here and let's strain out our pomegranate vinegar. And this again, it's been eight months, sitting there for eight months and it just evaporates slowly and you can see just sediment rings from it just being there. This is just two pomegranates. Let it sit there. I'm not going to squeeze this. I probably could do it with a smaller jar, but this is the only jar I have for now. And it's fine. I like to reuse these. So once I get another empty one of these, then I'll put it in there. And I just wrap it. <laughs> I, I tape the name on it and wrap it around because the label is hard to get off on these, so I just label it and tape it. Could add that raisin, whatever I have, to this one because I do have raisin vinegar here. I made in 320, so 3620. This is raisin vinegar. It's really good for stir frying and stuff. Um, I could just add this vinegar to it if I wanted to. But I think I'll keep it separate because it might have a different flavor. So, and then I have, like, here's uh, kombucha vinegar I have. 719 on there. I, I like to use those, these jars. Once this red wine's gone, I'm going to put that um, pomegranate vinegar in here. But for now, it's fine in this jar. Okay, so this one's done. Drain the rest in this for cleaning. Put 
put the pulp. And now we can do the orange. The orange is a cleaner, so I don't need to strain it. It'll set all settle out. I already strained it once, so it's fine. There we go. That's almost a full bottle. And I'll use this to clean. It smells it smells like a cleaner. It smells like a cleaning product. But a good one. So I have to label these. So once these settle out. It'll be really clear and then all the cloudiness will go to the bottom. So, oh, also, before I let you all go, I have a my honey lemon ferment. I did a very long time ago, a few months, maybe three months ago, or two months ago, and it's ready to be decanted. I probably should have done that one sooner than later. So this is honey lemon. That's all it is, is honey lemon. We're going to just decant it. I'm not straining this one. It's pretty clear. And this is for medicinal purposes. I'm not going to add more honey to it to make it sweeter, but this is for tea and stuff. I'm almost full. Let's let it drain. But that's what it looks like. Tastes like honey lemon, but it's fermented. Mm. No label. So I'll hold this up here. See, it's really nice and... um golden it'll settle down at the bottom um, but it has a lot of good stuff in it so uh, you want to shake it up you want it to be cloudy when you take it because you want all the good stuff you know so all right glad I didn't wait too long to decant this one <laughs> ruin this one make it super sour but honey tends to help with that so it is sour but it has the honey in it um, it's not very sweet because it, the yeast eats sugar. So it has a nice just medicinal taste, but you can add honey to it with your tea. Mmm, smells really good and tastes pretty good too. So we're going to just put that, I'll label it. Just label it honey vinegar. And there we go, the honey lemon vinegar right here fermented and that's for like when you're not feeling good and stuff and, and that's what I'll use it for put it in my cupboard with my teas it'll stay good for a long time okie dokie and, and then the raisin one what we're gonna do is we're just going to because it smells really delicious That's all there is to that one. Okay. All right. That's all I got from a, a whole half gallon of raisin vinegar over almost a year and a half, probably more, sitting there evaporating. I only have that much left. But it tastes, or smells really good. Let's taste it now. Where's my spoon? Let's taste it. Ooh. Mmm. Ugh. That's a most sour vinegar. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh, I just gonna clean with that. Ugh. Ugh. Don't let your vinegar sit on the counter for two years. Uh, and con that was like concentrate. This is concentrate. Concentrated vinegar. 
and probably like a dehydrated make vinegar powder. You know, I'll try and do that. I'm just gonna let it keep on evaporating. It was like vinegar concentrate. Well, shoot, it's just, it is concentrate. It used to be a half gallon and it's evaporated and left all the vinegar stuff behind. And now I have a concentrate. It'll probably clean your pipes. That's like the most concentrated vinegar I've ever, ever, ever tasted. And I only tasted a tiny bit. Ooh, you know, let's just leave the lid off on this tiny thing and let it evaporate more. And put this on it. Let's see, we get maybe a powder, a concentrated powder at the bottom. Who knows, we'll see what happens. It might take another year. <laughs> all right, y'all, so there's all my vinegars that I decanted and I'll be making more. I don't need to make citrus ones. So I need to make some more apple cider and rose petal and my pine ones I like to make. So we'll do those another time. But that's it and we'll just talk to you later and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.